Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Joe Farentelli, and I want to give you a brief summary of what Posture is and the advantages, especially going over the new and exciting computer vision. We're the first ever in the industry to ever implement computer vision for x-ray analysis. Um, and we have a, an exciting research project that's already in review at a major scientific journal with it. But let's go ahead and answer some common questions and then I'll go ahead and show you uh, the system as well. Uh, so first, what is Postre? Postre is simply a radiographic EMR. So it basically will sit between your normal X-ray system that acquires the X-rays or your PAC system. You continue using those as well um, and your note system. And what it does is it is based off of all our scientific research on all the studies published with CBP seminars for reliability and validity in our spine modeling. Basically, we had a scientific software that we used to collect our data for these research projects. And then Deed Harrison, myself and uh, Dr. Don Harrison decided, hey, wouldn't it be great if we could reuse this software base and create a, a doctor friendly version so that way the doctor could first objectively um, measure and document the patient's x-rays so they knew what to do clinically. And then more importantly also is to educate the patient, showing them where they are compared to normal and normal averages to give them some education on the severity of their problem, especially that we can do follow-ups and comparisons between pre and post injury, as well as document ligamentous laxity and, and injury, as well as pre post biomechanical changes. So that is the genesis of it. And what's great about it is all these reports or PDFs that can be put into any note system and they can be branded with your, um, your logos and your colors. Now it's gonna be hard to kind of see this with the blur in the background, but basically you create these reports that the patient will be able to take home with them at the time of the report of findings that shows their x-rays with a compared to normal and something unique and different about your practice that shows the evidence of their spinal alignment and the implications. So we have reports that you can submit to third parties or, or doctor reports, if you will, um, that become your radiographic report, right? So Posture makes it more simple to uh, document objectively all the angles, uh, rotations, and translations of all the vertebral movements that we've studied in, in CBP and CBP nonprofit, as well as you are able to put in your own pathological notes. Now, we've added computer vision, and I'm going to show that to you when I switch over to the screen. But that is Posture in a nutshell. So let me go ahead and show you some of the, the great features of Posture, shall we? So let's go ahead and go in here and I'm going to go into this screen right here. And this is the main interface for Posture. So I have already loaded up x-rays. So the way it will work is your x-ray software system will send the, the DICOM images to Posture. So you continue using those same uh, software packages. You just don't need to waste your time simply drawing lines on a film when you can digitize the x-rays and posture and actually make those measurements mean something and help with your objective documentation for the clinical uh, uh, results with the patient for documentation purposes. So with that being said, I have my posture pulled up here. I've already loaded those x-rays. And also the common question is, can you load x-rays from a CD-ROM or a DVD? Of course you can. And yes, you can also load in um, DMX videos because we even do lateral bending, apio mouth, which is a common question. But let's go ahead and get back into this. So I've already pulled in a patient. So I'm gonna show you first how uh, computer vision will work. And I have this patient loaded that I still have to mark. This would be your, your panel. So. Mr. Bad Spine has some x-rays, so I know that these x-rays have already been analyzed, but this x-ray, the lateral cervical, has yet to be analyzed. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and view and edit, and I'm gonna go into the lateral cervical neutral. Now, here's what is truly awesome, and nobody else in the industry can even come close to doing something like this. So what you and your staff can do in associate doctors is box in between C1 and T1, and then load the other x-rays. So lateral cervical flexion and extension x-rays have computer vision that is already enabled. So check that out. The system automatically 
analyze the x-rays to be able to find all the rotations and translations measurements like literally those are the measurements now here's the best part about it is over time select clinics that are part of our our scientific com the committee and usually the research the researchers are with our our software system when they go in and verify the the line locations which you should as well and if they adjust any of those points guess what the software is going to do over time the software will be trained and retrain our neural networks to be able to make the software that much more accurate. So just to give you an idea how many x-rays it took to do this, marked x-rays was around 30,000 marked x-rays. Yeah, you heard me correct, 30,000 to be able to do that. So we can do the automatic digitization on lateral cervical, lateral cervical flexion, lateral cervical extension. More views will be added, um, you know, over the, the coming as we do more research and development, but pretty exciting. So from that standpoint, you always verify the, the images and then the doctor would come in and we can put in our notes. I already have some notes in here that I've already typed up and we can also put in macros and design our phrases the way that we like to dictate to our patients and the way that we like to dictate and personalize the reports based off of how we report our uh, pathological findings and in your own words. So you make up macros to make this truly a unique and different EMR system. Now, we have other x-rays that are already done. I'm just gonna basically show you. I already have the flexion extension done. We have AP cervical in this case. These are all different people, by the way. Uh, AP open mouth. I don't have lateral bending on this patient, but we have lateral, um, the AP open mouth here. We have nasium, lateral uh, thoracic, AP thoracic with scoliosis. So we can even do uh, Cobb and Riser Ferguson methods of analysis. And getting back to uh, instability, here, another question on lateral cervical instability. We do the AMA guides fifth and sixth edition as well as the posterior tangent method, which is superior method for instability analysis, as well as Penning's assessment, because that's a common question. So I'm trying to answer some of these common questions. Um, with scoliosis, we also measure rib angles, things like that. And we do flexion extension with um, the lateral lumbar, AP lumbar with scoliosis as well too. We also do a short leg analysis. Again, these are different people here. Um, and we can even stitch the lateral cervicals, lateral thoracics and lateral lumbars or combinations thereof into a lateral full spine or AP full spine x-ray. So if you get images sent to you from an outside facility, like a, um, a radiology facility, you can stitch those into a full spine. So truly powerful system that we have. So once the, those are done, all we have to do is we have to come in and we can after we've put in all our notes, and just to show you, I've put in, I've already put in notes. So we'll just go into the lateral, the uh, lateral uh, lumbar, and then we have the impression as well here too. So if I wanna go ahead and generate a report, I can go ahead and generate a report in the PDFs that I was trying to show you, but the background's blurred, so it doesn't come in so clearly. Uh, you can totally customize this with your logos, the colors as well too. Um, the text is something that you do not, um, uh, you cannot customize, uh, but the actual look and feel and branding you can. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, generate some reports, which will open up as a PDF document. So these are reports that are simply PDFs now. So you literally have a way of having something that not only documents your patient care, but literally saves you so much time. So these, this would be like a travel sheet for your patient, okay? And we can even include the posture screens as well too. So the next one that I would like to share with you, this would be the patient report of findings. So in this, the patient report of findings PDF, you can choose to include an introductory per uh, periodic uh, uh, spinal care class, if you will, in this case, we're just jumping right into the x-rays, um, normal versus them. And this is compared to our ideal values. Um, and you can put a note like right here to put it in your own words with that patient. And of course, we can also digitize down to T1. We can also include cervical morphology to predict what are the normal ranges for that, that patient using the pizza 
uh, measurements uh, in cervical morphology with um, chiropractic biophysics, some of the newer research that we've uh, we've been doing. Um, that's a common question, so I'm going ahead and answering that as well too. And then the patient friendly report, you know, with instability makes it easy for them to understand. So they would go through, and you have an X-ray for everything that you've taken a picture on or an X-ray on and analyzed, which truly saves you a lot of time for not only documentation but education. So this would be the educational report. And then the documentation report, we have two main documentation reports. The impression report is every all your x-ray findings along with the posterior tangent method of instability analysis for the cervical spine. So here we go in here and it goes through the table of values of normal and all the values that we've digitized. And we also put it in some text. And then of course you can see I've put in my pathological notes. So literally this is a radiographic EMR. We just make life easy. Instead of you using a protractor or your packs to measure angles, we do it for you with you digitizing or your staff digitizing, verifying those points. And I must stress, you verify those points to make sure those angles are measuring what you in, uh, what you set out to measure, okay? Um, but truly saves you a ton of time to overlaying the lines of menstruation over and measuring all the segmental angles, rotations, and translations. Pretty awesome, right? This came again from all the research studies. So all the reliability and validity studies that we've published in the literature, this is what drives posture, right? So nothing on the market truly is what posture is, right? It's not a PAX, it's a radiographic EMR born out of research, right? So we also do an instability report, which this is really the AMA guides, fifth or sixth edition. In the impression report, that's also an instability report. We just named them differently. But here we have the AMA guides method of uh, instability analysis. So in here, we're showing the, the fifth edition, okay? And flagging instability also with Penning's assessment. So once that is done, check this out. The next step is you want to be able to prepare for your report of findings for that patient, right? So this is where posture truly is exciting. So at that same point in time, and by the way, while you're under normal annual technical support, this is backing up to our secure and HIPAA compliant cloud um, that we will back up your posture data itself and images and also be able to run the computer vision. And that's always available as long as you're under an active technical support maintenance agreement. With this being said, check this out. Now it's time to be able to do a view box. So I wanna be able to educate the patient and be able to review their findings. So here I get a annotation tool and this works great if you have say a touch screen with your computer, um, you can scroll through these. And then what's nice is that you can overlay all the findings of our ideal model over the patient x-rays and then you can also be able to show difference in the line. So it's truly, it truly is something that we can go ahead and uh, educate the patient on and be able to show them their position and where they are related to if there's a normal that applies. So again, we have normals in this as well too, depending on what x-rays or as near normal as possible, right? Um, so they truly understand, hey, the red line's them, green line is near normal. Can they see that they're not uh, close to that normal range? And of course, a patient has a normal average range as well, too. So part of our training with posture, or excuse me, with CBP seminars is how you as a clinician can identify this and objectively determine the best clinical um, uh, evidence-based methods to improve their spine towards a more normal uh, structure. So with that being said, even the lateral full spine that was stitched with all the values, how cool is that? And we can also do comparisons really quickly. So just to show you a comparison, if I go back in, I'm going to pull somebody up. Now, mind you, when I was in practice in the old days, we didn't have digital x-rays. So uh, I'm going to pull up a real correction that was um, that was done, but it was on plain film. So you could even take photographs, as long as you follow our calibration methods, photographs of traditional old school x-rays on your on a view box. Yeah, that's pretty neat, right? 
So here's a true pre and post. So we could do pre-post on anything, a stress x-ray, pre-post scoliosis, pre-post, um, pre-post injury, pre-post correction. So your view box literally makes it that much easier. Now check this out. We also have an online view box. So every time that you uh, back up your x-rays or are automatically backed up, and let me find the account that I wanna log in here for us. So we're gonna go ahead and log into this account. So what we can do is we can go ahead and I'm gonna just pull in, um, let's go with, let's go with this one here. So this is browser based. How cool is this? So I can use, this is, as you can see, this is my posture ray computer. This is a browser. So anywhere I have an internet connection, as long as you're under a normal, uh, annual technical support maintenance because we run this in the cloud you have access to the computer vision and you have access to an online browser-based view box it's a little bit different than what's native in the in the software but you could even through the browser be able to draw on those x-rays how awesome is that and then it gives you an annotator um, to where we can go ahead and show them and then literally you scroll through the x-rays so you could do this on an iPhone, not that you would want to, but an iPad or doctors um, that want to check on their staff's progress with marking x-rays. Maybe they're outside the office, maybe they're on lunch and they want to see that patient that they're going to see later on that day and refresh their, their mind on those x-rays. You can do that with Posture because now we have a cloud-based browser. So this is not just simply what a PAC system would do with a browser. This is a, actually something functional and useful for a clinician. You know, that way you can literally show them their position against normal. Pretty awesome, right? And of course you can do comparisons as well too. So that is in summary, the highlights of Posture and I know you're gonna love this. Um, again, it's born out of all the research that we've published and there's quite a, a number of the research studies that we've published. If you want to browse over to cbpnonprofit.com uh, and check out our, our research, uh, just look for all the, the modeling studies and the x-ray reliability validity studies. And that is where Posture is born out of because basically we had a clinical tool and we made it basically consumer friendly for the doctor. That's what we did. So I know you're gonna love this. Uh, just reach out to us at info at posturray.com. If you'd like to go ahead and get started, there's, uh, if you're in the United States, we work with banks to make financing easy. And this is something that you need to really truly know. This is software that you truly can own, okay? You truly can own this. Um, if you wanna continue on with some of the, the uh, more premium features like computer vision and online backups, that's just included in our normal annual technical support um, and software updates, which is included in the first year. So any other questions, reach out to us again at info at Take care. Bye-bye.